So we're going to talk about the in degree and the out degree of a node. Every single node in a digraph has the potential for edges or arrows, lines connected to it, either going in or coming out. And the in degree and the out degree of a node is literally just the count of the arrows that are associated with it. So let's draw a digraph and see if we can count the in degree and the out degree of each one of the nodes. So here's a digraph that has five nodes. Now let's put some edges between the nodes. All right, so here's an example of a digraph. It has five nodes, and so I'm going to write a chart for each one of the individual nodes. So we're going to go through each one of the individual nodes, and the end degree is how many arrows are pointing into it. If I look at node A, I can see that there are no arrows pointing in, so the end degree is zero. If I move down to node B, well, node B has two arrows that are pointing in. If I move to C, I can see that there are two arrows pointing in to my node C. D, I can actually see, has three arrows pointing in, one, two, and three. And E only has one arrow pointing in. That would be the end degree. So now let's count the out degree. So as you've already guessed, the out degree of a node is the number of arrows that are pointing out. So let's come back to A. A has two arrows coming out of it. Here's one and here's two, so I will put a two here. B has one, two, and three arrows coming out of it, so I'm going to put a three here. Let's move to C. C has an arrow here and an arrow here, so I'll put a two beside the out degree of C. If I look at D, D does not have any arrows coming out, so I'm going to put a zero there. And it looks like E only has one arrow coming out. So these are the out degrees and the in degree of each one of the individual nodes when I look at it as a digraph. But what if I were to look at it as a matrix? Can I tell the in degree and the out degree of a relation just based upon the matrix? Well, there are five nodes, so I'm going to draw a five by five matrix representing the digraph. All right, so let's see if we can add all of the ordered pairs from my digraph into my matrix. All right, so A has an arrow going to B and to E, and so I'm going to put ones in that first row. B has arrows going from 2B to C and to D, so I'll put those ones on that row. Let's move to C. C has two arrows coming out, one going to C and one going to D, so I'll put two ones in that row. Looks like D does not have any arrows coming out, so I'm just going to leave that one blank. And then the final one is E. E only has one arrow coming out, and it is going to D, so I'll put the one here. That means all of the rest of these are zero. So this is the matrix of the relation that we have the digraph for. So is there some way that I can tell the in degree and the out degree? I know that when I was talking about this row, row A, and when I was looking at my digraph, I said that A has an arrow coming out and going to B, and so I put a 1 by the ordered pair AB. And then I said A also has an arrow coming out and going to E, so I put a 1 by AE. This would mean to me that these are representations of arrows that are coming out of node A. Well, to me that sounds a whole lot like the out degree, which would tell me that if I were to count these ones in row A, that it would tell me the out degree of row A. And the same can be said of row B. If I look at row B and if I count all the ones in row B, that should tell me the arrows that are coming out of B. The same thing is true with C and D and E. This series of numbers should look remarkably similar to this series of numbers as well. So I can tell the out degree of the nodes in a matrix just by counting the rows. I'll put that here. Count the rows. So what about the columns? Can the columns tell me anything? If I look at this column right here, this is the columns that represent A. And so if there was a value here, this would be A to A. This would be B to A. This would represent C to A. This would represent D to A. So this column represents the ones that are coming to A. And I'll put quotes around it. I'll even put quotes around this one. So if this is representing everything that is coming to A, 
it would appear to me that this is the n degree. If it's coming into A or coming to, to A, that would be the n degree. So I'm going to put a 0 here. I'm going to sum this should be um, column B. If I put a 2 here, if I count them all up and I put a 2 here, if I count up column C and I put a 2, I'm going to count up column D, I see that there are three of them there. And if I count up E, I see that there is one. So there are 0, 2, 2, 3, 1. This should look remarkably like this. Because the if I count the columns, that will give me the n degree. So I can visually inspect a digraph to determine the n degree and the out degree. Or I can count the rows and columns on a matrix to get the n degree and the out degree of each one of the individual nodes.